the plan here is to make these two black and this one white. And yeah, and I'm actually not going to do any pre-planning. I'm just going to freestyle these. You can see they're so small. I mean, my hand or size. Alright, get busy here. Get stuck enough for my dog go down here. So with these two, and in the end, as I jump between recordings here, I'm going to be doing more layers in here. And you may see that, but I'm just going to go jump straight to the next step of recording these guys being the freestyle paintings I'm thinking about doing with this project. Alright, let's get started.
So here I am the next morning now because I was working on these scenes since like 2 or 3 o'clock last night or whatever it was. So um, yeah, here I am the next morning, had some breakfast and coffee and now I'm ready to go. And there's going to be a bonus layer to be done next if you look in the light reflection there. There's some lighter spots in between the brush marks that we might fill in back in. Then, by accident last night there, I had a little tiny boo-boo. But it shouldn't matter too much there, because I plan to cover this white background, I think. But yeah, I'm going to do another layer of the uh, acrylic paint here. And See how that goes and get started with my morning almost afternoon painting here. white one here I think doesn't didn't need that layer so much but I did it for the heck of it to use up the last of that white acrylic paint I had left and now see how these black ones turn out here in a bit there and it's acrylic so it should be really fast and dry in here as I go have my smoke break
Alright, so now on to painting number two here. The idea I have in mind is to try to get the lines matched up on the here and get it matched up as best as I can from there to here as well. And the idea I have in mind here is to do a sort of sun and moon themed idea going on here. So, um, yeah. And I really have a few different ideas in mind to try out for this one here. And instead of it doing a deer, I am maybe thinking doing a wolf or coyote petroglyph over here just to show a different design of petroglyphs that I know exists out there. Let's uh, get started here on the next one.
stretch on the last painting here. And yeah, getting ready to to try and make this as simple as possible because those other two times are a little more technical than I wanted them to be for being as straightforward as they are. But with this one, in the matters of craziness, I want to try a few different colors here. I have. Take a look here. I have this metallic paint. I'm gonna try a couple of different colors here. And then for my last one here, I'm gonna try out this. crazy pink colored looking one here let's see what it ends up looking like and the idea I have is maybe try a dry brushing technique these metallic paints and then do a sprinkle star design with this bright pink here or a dry brush I'm not entirely sure yet and then when I'm done doing all of that first here, putting all these crazy colors in, I'm going to do one of my simple straightforward bear design clips that I've used often in my artwork there. And yeah, and I'm going to try to use this black background as the backing and then either do something with the bear design there anyways, I'm not too sure but you'll see it as I work along it on it on the freestyle here because that's the idea is try to do it without a huge major pre plan or drawing. I'm just doing everything on the fly. But yeah, let's get ready and start
at the end of these three paintings, the whole lot has it been a real haul. And even after this recording here, I will be still doing something. I just figured I would save the trouble of that recording on the here. So, what I'm going to be doing after is taking some of this gloss medium here. And I'm going to put a couple layers over that as kind of like a sealer and protector or whatever for the paintings as well. And I'll be using my brushing to do that. So other than that, I usually have a aerosol can around here for matte and glossing, but I have this bottle here to use, so I better use that up. And yeah, thank you for anyone who stayed here for the whole video to watch it. It's been quite a blast. I hope you watched the whole thing because I realized at this point it is like a 30 minute long video. But thank you to anyone who does watch the whole thing and I do appreciate it. And this whole video is kind of a tester piece for me to do to see how it goes online doing these type of videos. And I'll be happy to hear any reviews, comments, um, tips, advice, whatever. I'm open to it. This is all kind of newer to me anyways. I thank you everyone who watched and stayed this long. And I hope to see you in the next video. You have yourself a good day.